Hi there, we're going to talk today about uh, doing a repla replacement on a wrist seal in Mustang's Sentinel Series dry suits using our rapid repair technology. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assemble all our materials together. So what I've got here is a hand iron, a piece of non-stick paper, our neck seal, or wrist seal, sorry, replacement jig, and a replacement wrist seal. These are all the tools that you're going to need to be able to do a replacement on your Sentinel Series dry suit wrist seal. So the first thing that we're going to do is make sure that we have a nice clean work surface to work from. I've got this table here, uh, which is a nice simple surface, um, and that I have all my materials assembled. Then we're going to begin the repair. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to insert our silicone jig inside the wrist seal. Our, so lining it up at the end of the wrist. So what I'm going to do is just simply take it and roll it up into a little circle like this. And I'm going to put it inside the suit. And then what I've done here is I've rolled the, the cuff of the suit back to expose the end of the wrist seal. And I'm just going to insert it inside the suit here. And I'm going to line it up so that it's basically about sitting right there. And then I'm going to release it, let it expand inside the suit, making sure it's lined up with the, uh, with the wrist seal here. And then I'm just going to force the two ends together so that it holds the, um, the wrist seal nice and tight. So you should have this nice tight surface with the seal in, uh, with the jig inside the seal. Now that I have the jig inside the seal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start removing the old seal. And how I'm going to do that is I'm simply going to take our piece of non-stick paper, put it down on top, and then we're going to smush this whole thing down flat. I'm going to take my iron and I'm going to apply some heat and pressure to it for about 15 seconds. Alright, that should be good. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to lightly with our fingers, because this, again this can be quite hot because we've just had the, the hot iron on there, is just lightly start to pull these two pieces apart. And you should, the, you should just be able to pull them apart gently. If you feel resistance, too much resistance, just stop, apply more heat and try again. So now we have this section started here. All I'm going to do is just rotate this a little bit, smush it down again, putting my non-stick paper on top, and uh, apply heat and pressure again. I'm going to go all the way around the seal until it's removed. Okay, now that I have the seal completely removed from the suit, I can apply or prep my new seal to be ready to go inside. So what I have is a seal here with uh, the adhesive pre-attached. Um, I've removed the paper coating from the outside of the seal already. And all I'm going to do is take our little jig here, I'm going to roll it up into a ball again, and I'm going to insert it inside the seal. And then I'm just going to let it expand. And what we want to do is just let this expand inside the seal and want to stretch the seal out so that this jig lays like this. Ideally what we want to see on the outside of this jig is we want to have about a quarter to an eighth inch of the silicone surface uh, exposed. So put like that and your seal is ready to go inside. Okay, so now I'm going to insert the, the seal with the jig inside the suit. And what I want to do is just make note of where this little seam in the jig is. And I want to line this seam up eventually with the seam on the, on the suit here. So I'm going to put this in through the opening of the suit. Going right all the way through, I've got my I'm just going to keep going right through the suit here. And 
I'm just noting where that seam is again. I'm just making sure that I'm going to be lined up with it when I put this jig in. Perfect. So as I pull this seal through the suit, what I'm looking for is I want to expose that eighth inch of the adhesive. So there's a nice adhesive line about an eighth inch all the way around the seal. So you can see that nice line of about an eighth inch of adhesive around the seal. Now my new seal is ready to be put in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply my first um, my first set of heat and pressure to the seal to adhere it. And we just want to make note of this seam where we had our seal and jig lined up on that seam. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to press that down. I want to press it down with the seam slightly off center to one side or the other. And when you press it down, you want to make sure that you maintain that eighth inch gap. And all we're going to do is put our piece of non-stick paper on top here. And then I'm going to take my iron and again we're going to apply heat and pressure to the seal for about 30 seconds. Then once the heat, we've removed the heat, we're just going to carefully peel back this paper. And you want to just check to make sure that the paper, none of the adhesive has been stuck on the paper. If it has, you can just lightly clean it off with your fingers. And again, the adhesive paper, or the, sorry, the non-stick paper, is just there to allow the process to be a little more clean for you. And then all we'll do is we'll just continue around the seal moving to an adjacent section, applying heat and pressure for 30 seconds. Okay, so now I've gone around the whole seal. I've heat and pressed uh, the, whole, uh, the whole suit. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick visual inspection, make sure everything looks good. Yes, it does. Um, just checking. And you want to make sure you, you check once it's cooled down a little bit because you don't want to uh, when the adhesive is still hot, you could potentially peel it away, but just do a quick visual inspection to say, yeah, I think everything looks good there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the, uh, the jig that's inside, and I'm going to do a, just a quick check on the inside. So I'll just reach in and turn this seal inside out. And again, it's, it's good to wait till this cools before you do this because you don't want to pull the, the seal apart that you just finished uh, doing the replacement on. Now, for if you're doing a replacement on a latex uh, wrist seal or a rubber wrist seal, what you might want to do is be able to check this seam right here afterwards. And it's a good idea to apply the heat to the backside just on the seam um, after you've done the whole heating on the outside. You can't do this on a neoprene seal because it won't heat through the neoprene properly, but for a latex seal you can do that. So all I do is just either insert the silicone in here so that it goes, lines up under the, um, under the seam, or you could even go and roll it back up and put it back inside the seam the same way we did it on the other side. Uh, but all we're going to do is just line it up there, Make sure it's good, and we're going to put heat and pressure on that seam for 30 seconds. And that's just going to make sure that that seam uh, gets nice and bonded. Okay, so now the seal has been bonded on both sides. We're again going to do a quick visual inspection just to make sure everything looks good. Uh, as long as we don't see any folds or creases in the fabric, um, our seal replacement should be effective. Uh, we check the bonding on the on the fabric to the to the seal, and then your seal should be good to use. Uh, if you are concerned and you want to do a leak test, Mustang does sell a leak test kit, which allows you to leak test the whole suit. Otherwise, uh, your seal is ready to be used.